Congratulations, DABF, on another fantastic year. I wish I could be there in person with you today so that we could celebrate together your achievements and engage in what I know will be a stimulating discussion. And I'm truly disappointed not to be part of the distinguished panel. DABF is an important partner for the American Embassy, especially in this time of economic challenges, economic downturns, and hopefully upswings. DABF's mission is even more critical. The core mission of DABF is an important one, providing value to its members, helping and supporting innovative Danish companies who want to take advantage of the opportunities in the United States markets. DABF is a primary partner in building ever stronger economic ties between the United States and Denmark. Ten days ago, I was in Washington for the meeting at the White House between President Obama and Prime Minister Helle Thorning schmidt the very first topic on their agenda was the economy, particularly the European economy. But both leaders expressed their pleasure at the recent signs that the economy in the United States is on the upturn. Unemployment is falling, jobs are being created at a slightly higher pace than anticipated, and consumer confidence is returning. Just being there being with my friends and family and other professional people in Washington, I could sense the difference. People in the United States are again optimistic. President Obama and Prime Minister Tony Schmidt spoke together about the need for increasing even more our transatlantic trade. While we, the United States and Europe, are the largest trading partners, there is room for even more expanded growth. This is critical to the prosperity on both sides of the Atlantic because we are interconnected like few other regions of the world. Together, we account for over half of the global GDP and more than one-third of all international trade. As President Obama highlighted, the United States looks forward to working closely with Denmark to ensure not only economic stability for Europe, but also for growth in Europe because growth in Europe benefits the United States economy. President Obama also referred to TEC, or the Transatlantic Economic Council, and its important work to conform regulations in the U.S. and the EU so that companies on both sides of the ocean can access both markets easier and can cooperate on technological development as well as bringing products to global markets. The President and the Prime Minister emphasized ways to encourage trade and reduce economic frictions in both sides of the Atlantic. And DABF can be a critical part of that effort. The American market is open to products, ideas, and inward investment in ways that few other countries are. President Obama in particular has emphasized this openness to both foreign and domestic investors. In 2011, he established Select USA, to assist foreign companies as they invest in the United States. Select USA is empowered with executive authority to cut through federal red tape and to provide assistance to states that need federal departments and agencies to work with them together in the interest of job creation. Select USA also has consolidated information on federal programs and services available to companies that operate in the United States into a one-stop web portal. This resource should be a perfect tool for members of DABF, and we hope that more Danish companies will benefit from this new service. The United States continues to be the largest destination for foreign direct investment in the world. This is a trend we are confident will continue because, as you all certainly agree, there's no better place to do business than in the United States of America. I look forward to continued partnership and cooperation with DABF and with all of you. We have a strong and mutually beneficial relationship. I have enjoyed the opportunities to host successful DABF events at the Embassy and at Rudhava, the American Ambassador's residence in Copenhagen. Together, we provide opportunities to bring together leading experts and opinion leaders in an atmosphere of discussion and cooperation. We can foster development of relationships to provide information, but also to help you discover potential new opportunities waiting for you in the United States. 
Thank you very much for allowing me to be with you today, even if it's only by video. I look forward to the next chance that we are together. Congratulations on another wonderful year. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.